New details tonight on the nearly $1 billion the mayor of Miami says the city needs in order to fight sea level rise. Here's a scene out of Miami. October means a flood of trouble. King tides rise and cars stall. Miami Beach hit especially hard. If the models are correct and we have the accelerated rise in seas, which we are planning for, then certain areas of our county will become inundated. We just don't have any precedent for that. Miami is the city on the planet that has the most real estate invested and infrastructure at risk. It's not only about sea level rise or sea surge, it's also about the porous soil. So it's coming from the sky, it's coming from the ocean, and it's coming from the groundwater. You can see, you know, that's the level of the bay. It's right here, water is at this level at high tide. A regular tide now basically fills us. So if you have any additional water runoff, you've got no place to go. It was like a river. The, it, it, the water backed up, went right into businesses. It was a long time for the businesses to recover. Even though Miami's in a red state where we are not allowed to use the word climate change to any government agencies there, the results of this change are hitting, they're visible. Even if people say they don't believe in climate change, they believe in, you know, there's an octopus in their street because, you know, it came up through the gutter at the high tide, like they, they can see it. Ships will be floating at a higher level. Bridges will be impacted. You cannot plan for all these things at once. It's just too enormous. And the question is how well can your community bounce back? That's resilience. Miami-Dade County has a median family income in the range of forty-five dollars or $46,000. That's very low for a metropolitan area. Shining a light on these underserved populations' needs is creating an interest in understanding it better, but it's not translating into staffing and resources. We need to talk about what's real. You know, we need to talk about the most vulnerable populations and what's going on with them. There are many in the business community and even government officials that feel we shouldn't talk about it, but it's too late for that. There has to be not just a new way to build, but a new way to think about the long future. We have an opportunity to really calibrate Miami and reinvent it as a new American city. We're close to the problem, which means that we have the best chance at coming up with the solution. The region will look different. The structures of the buildings will be different. The way we use transportation will be different. Miami will not look the way it looks today in 50 years, and it doesn't look today like it did 50 years ago. And we will adjust as we go along.